Hi guys, uh, brothers and sisters. Um, I had done that video where um, I was, before I woke up, I was sleeping and um, I heard the Lord speak and he said, Heidi is the name of the bowl to be poured out or it was the next bowl. It was either the next bowl or the bowl to be poured out, okay? Um, sometimes I, I might mix up a word, but the importance is, is that um, this is what the Lord said. And um, so I had done my uh, video here and um, because I had done my own research um, about uh, that Heidi is a root word. Uh, it's a French, the French use it for a baby name. It's really popular, but its root word is like the Germany area. And... Uh, it uh, is sharp for Adelheid or Adelheid. And um, I had seen that Adelheid is Australia. And, um, but my, my good friend, uh, Sister Sherry, she uh, had said, whoa. <laughs> she kind of gave me some more insight to this. And she had wrote me an email saying um, <clears throat> what Heidi... <clears throat> she knows her stuff. She does this research on this stuff. And uh, she told me and revealed to me what the name Heidi meant in uh, different languages. So you guys are going to be blown away. I was blown away. Um, I, you know, I wrote to her and said, I'm just going to read it. I'm not even going to put it in my own words. I, you know, I'm not the brightest duck in the coop, but <laughs> brightest duck in the pond. But, um, I, uh, I didn't tell, I mean, I just said, okay, I'm just going to read it like that. And I didn't even wait for, wait for her to respond because I really believe this needs to get out as soon as possible. So, um, let me switch over here to her email. Uh, she said, blessings, Amanda, uh, just want to give the body of Christ, the world and the false prophets and teachers a friendly warning. Now I had a dream this afternoon, I made a video of it, and the Lord spoke to me. He showed me that the Jewish people, Israel, they are not ready for their wedding. And so all the stuff the Lord's been showing me and showing other people, showing Sister Sherry and other people is coming full circle. So I just want to read this, okay? So uh, uh, I just want to give the body of Christ, the world, and the false prophets and teachers a friendly warning. To the false teachers and prophets, you are idolaters and spiritual adulterers who are spewing out false messages and teachings from other writings that are not from our Lord or our Lord's book. These are erroneous teachings from your flesh, carnal teachings. And last but definitely not least, hold on, to, to Israel. To the ones that are not doing the will and work of our Father, John 6, 29 says, Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him who he, who he hath sent. Uh, okay. So she just wrote some little thing here to me. Uh, I would just like to uh, put some teaching and warning to these particular groups of people because war is imminent. And I agree. I think a lot of people agree. This is lengthy, so bear with me. Okay, so here she goes and explain. The next bull is named Heidi. Number one, we know we are not in tribulation yet. Okay, thank you, Sister Sherry. I'm learning. I'm I'm a beginner. Okay, I'm Lord's using me, but I'm still I'm still sipping on some milk and chewing on some meat at the same time. Okay, the church must be taken out first. Number two, however, we are inches away to the prelude of the first Gog and Magog war. That will start the trib period. Okay, so I can confirm with this because um, a few months ago I was looking at something and I heard the Lord speak and say Gog and Magog. So now the time, oh, now the name one, here's the meanings of them, Heidi in Hebrew equals Hadassah equals original, also equals in the Hebrew means Esther, Wow. And in the B Babylonian, a.k.a. Canaanites, okay, 
This mean this name means Ishtar, aka Ashtoreth, or Ashtoreth, the goddess of fertility, sex, power, and war. Number two, the bull. She's now she's symbolizing the bull. Equals uh, Zechariah 14, 20 through 21. And that day there will be upon the bells of the horses holiness unto the Lord. And the pots in the Lord's house shall be like the bulls before the altar. Ye, uh, 21. Yea, every pot in Jerusalem and Judah shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts. And all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and seed therein. And in that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of the Lord of hosts. All right. Remember I seen that goddess. She had that weird crescent. Uh, and then I was led to another picture. There it was. It had that crescent up there. And there's this one world religion starting. And we have Muslims setting, sitting in with the, the Pope. And the Pope is denying Jesus now. And we got all this stuff going on. So number three, Heidi. Ishtar, a.k.a. Ashtoreth, a.k.a. Sophia, goddess of higher knowledge equals Illuminati and false teachings, fables, and of course, goddess of war. Same. Same name, different cultures, guys. Esther, that saved her people from genocide. And this book is also a picture of the rapture. Esther's name also means hiding place or I am hidden or she searches out evil or judgment. Okay, so yeah, I know she says some of my dreams are, uh, and visions are prophetic. Some are personal, of course, but I, I share them all, so I'm transparent to everybody. Um, <clears throat> that are teachings from the Holy Spirit. Okay, I believe this particular dream of Heidi being the next bowl is indeed a prophetic word and warning of repentance unto Jesus and imminent war. And remember when I said I seen... Um, after he spoke this to me, I seen people just running in the streets. I, I was so close to their faces, I could see the panic and devastation and and uh, in their eyes. It, it was terrible. Their arms, everybody's arms were stretched out and they were just reaching for who knows what to try to hide them. And, and I, um, I heard the Lord say something like, run to the caves or something like that. So... Whatever category of people that you may fall into in the beginning of this message, I urge you to please check yourself and repent. I believe this message also to be an unctioning of the Holy Spirit. The book of Zechariah in a whole is a message of warning to false teachers, false prophets, and prophetesses, to the world, and of course Israel, to repent and turn back to him, and of course the new covenant, our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. And this book, Elohim, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, does not want anyone to perish. Amen and amen. God bless the body of Christ. God bless Israel. God bless the world. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so I did my, my little video and, uh, I don't have a lot of, uh, I'm glad she wrote that to me because it is a confirmation that the Lord is, is definitely speaking, even though I might have gotten, uh, maybe my part was the first part and her part's like the second part because we know war is going to break out all over pretty soon. And I had that, um, that dream about Putin had that woman trapped in the barn and her hands, hands were bound behind her back. And Putin left to go do something, and then that, like, dark, like, samurai knight or something came and, and said, uh, I'll, I'll free you. And she, she agreed to it, and she bent over to drink some kind of, out of some bowl. Oh, Sherry, if you're listening to this, there's the bowl. That's symbolic. <laughs> I just read about it. She leaned over to drink out of a bowl, and he took off his helmet and reached over with his fangs and bit her in the back of her neck, and she turned into, like, an evil uh, Dracula thing. And then uh, my the next clip of my dream was it was a crutch, and it had anointing oil and an apron um, hiding on the inside of it. And my mother said, do you know how to use one of these things? <laughs> and then the last one of was... Um, 
uh, two stallions. Uh, there was a dark one and a light one, and the light one was maimed. Half of its leg above its hoof was cut off, but it had healed over. But and it was still hobbling along pretty good. But the black one turned and attacked it and struck it in the neck. So we see in each one of those um, parts of the dream, uh, the the woman was struck in the neck, and the horse was struck in the neck. So I think the first part of the dream is was talking about how, you know. Uh, um, the evil person took the woman away from Putin and then, but then he made her evil. And then the last half of the dream is talking about how, you know, she had healed. I think it was the woman and the man that took her and made her evil. And then he turned on that woman. That's what I think happened, what, what it represented. But, um, so you guys take heed, um, Israel, any Israelis that are listening, repent, believe on him and believe on the one that sent him. Jesus Christ was the Messiah. He is the Messiah. He was, he was crucified and died and rose again on the third day. And he's not dead anymore. He's coming back. And if you don't believe on him, there's not going to be any mercy. Not yet. I mean, you guys will finally turn around and realize who who the Lord really is eventually, you know, but turn and repent.